question is for the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Mr. Speaker, on February 22nd, I was pleased to attend an event where our government announced a $500,000 planning grant to the redevelopment of the Wallaceburg campus of the Chatham-Kent Health Alliance. The redevelopment will include expanded ambulatory, emergency, and outpatient services. You know, Speaker, it was a great event, supported and attended by many dignitaries as well as Wallaceburg residents. They were ecstatic over this announcement. That hospital is not going away. So, Mr. Speaker, to the minister, minister, could you please tell us why investments like these are important for our health care system? Deputy Premier, Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Thank you very much to the member from Chatham-Kent Leamington for his question. We are committed to creating a health care system that is truly centered around the needs of patients. Investments like these ensure that health care and providers like the Chatham-Kent Health Alliance continue to do an incredible job of providing care to meet the growing needs of the good people of Lambton-Kent Middlesex and Chatham-Kent Leamington. Our government for the people is taking the necessary steps to strengthen and fix our public health care system. If passed, our plan will improve patient experience and strengthen local services to ensure that our public health care system is centered around patients and not around bureaucracy. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, thank you again, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the minister for that answer. You know, these investments are vital for many communities, especially in rural Ontario. You know, I'm pleased to hear that the minister is improving our public health care system, and I'm confident that these funds will ensure that we have top quality facilities to serve our community for years to come. You know, at this announcement with the Minister of Infrastructure, I was told by many patients, staff, and community members how grateful they are that our government is making the right investments to ensure that our community gets the services that we need. So, Mr. Speaker, could the minister please tell us how this investment will help our local community? Minister. Minister of Infrastructure. Minister of Infrastructure. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to uh, thank the member uh, from Chatham-Kent Leamington for that excellent question and also for joining us uh, in Wallaceburg uh, for that important announcement. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, 14 years ago, uh, long before I was elected as MPP, I was joined by members of the community for what was called SOS Save Our Sydenham. Sydenham Hospital, Mr. Speaker, uh, which is now the Wallaceburg site of the Chatham-Kent Health Alliance, was in danger of being closed by the former Liberal government. It was a great privilege to be able to stand there 14 years later to announce $500,000 in funding for redevelopment and revitalization planning for this hospital. Mr. Speaker, our government knows that health infrastructure is truly for the people. It is the hospitals that care for our parents and where our children are Response. born. Our commitment will ensure this hospital will serve patients in Wallaceburg, across Chatham-Kent, and Lambton County for generations to come. <laughs> 